Oh, welcome back, Gaming Beast! It's the Epic Beast, the gamer here once again. Stay a while and listen as we destroy in PvP. <laughs> there will be no mercy shown. They will suffer greatly. We will reveal all our spells in our special magic book deck to take them down. <laughs> Enjoy. Poor Jonathan. It's a bad career move coming up against the Epic Beastie. Especially since I have a six win streak and this is my first match in silver PvP. The way it works is you make up a deck. When you have enough mana, your magic points at the bottom of the screen, you can see how that bar is filling up. That enables you to cast different spells. If you have very high level spells and no low level spells in your deck, you are going to have to wait while you get destroyed. Movement has a limited number of points as well, so if you just keep running around to try and avoid the damage they throw in your way, you will end up running out of movement and you will have to basically stand as they decimate you into oblivion. As you can see here, he's throwing some nasty lightning spells my way, but I've got him trapped in one of my beautiful new legendaries. <laughs> that whirlpool of water just swallowed everything in its path, and now I've thrown out my Thunder Phoenix. I love that. That was my first legendary build on day one. If you never saw that, go back and check the stream playlist for Harry Potter Magic Awakened as I couldn't believe my luck. Now we're back for some more PvP, working on dailies. As you get more spells in your spellbook, you can upgrade your spellbook and upgrade the spells, so you end up doing more and more damage. Of course, your opponents do too. So, he keeps missing, he's throwing out all sorts of spells like Inflatus, and this nasty one which I do not appreciate. You've also got assistants that you can bring into battle, and if you're careful, you should use them at the best time possible. For example, there's a healing assistant. There's also one that will save you from some damage and shield you. I also have a phoenix in my deck, and that can heal. Not only myself, but allies. It's important to have some summons, so I have the snake. And you can put bombs on the snake, and when it dies, the bombs will detonate. And the more you summon, the more snakes get summoned. It's a very good and inexpensive spell to use. I have spells that hit both aerial targets and ground targets. That's another aspect to look for. Also, look at how quickly they get cast. And there we have it. You have been schooled in the school of Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Like and sub for more punishment. <laughs> See you around, beasts. Gaming beasts. Stay a while and listen. Watch another one. <laughs>